It always comes to this. do a quick vlog today not gonna be super long about um, obviously I got my face tattoo extended um, I've been talking for a while about wanting to add more to my face tattoos um, not go too too much into the face itself itself but um, kind of just cover up the dagger and the rose that were there now obviously we had no trouble doing that but we did have to build that black pretty pretty far out and uh, I wanted to keep the original theme that I had there. So uh, we just followed that filigree design up and uh, we played with it a little bit. We put some thorns in there just to kind of um, sort of tie it in more to the rose. Now, um, this looks super, super black right now. It's probably gonna be fairly black. I, I would imagine it'll be about as dark as the rose here um, once it's settled. But right away, it's going to be darker than everything else there um, on both sides, probably. Um, I do expect that there will be some patchiness in the black. Anytime you do uh, a face tattoo, let alone a blackout kind of section, um, I expect that there will be some patchiness there. Um, but it'll be easy enough to touch up now. It was easy enough to get it done being in the tattoo shop now. Um, just kind of whenever the artist who did it has time and there's always time here or there anytime you're working on a face tattoo i always expect that there will be a touch of brown necessary to make sure it looks as good as possible um, my wife got a little moon tattooed on her like sideburn area and for example uh, there was some dropout in the black even though it was only very small it's just the nature of a face is a little bit callous it sees the sun a lot um, and yeah, it's just a bit diff difficult to pack it. It's oilier than a lot of other skin too. So yeah, there's, there's just a lot of different stuff that goes into face tattoos. That being said, I didn't get this done by my original artist or my, well, it is, he, he is my original artist, but my usual artist, uh, Rick. Um, Rick hasn't expressed any interest in doing this. I brought it up to him. He hasn't been a fan of the idea, not because he doesn't like, like how it would look or anything like that. He's just kind of had enough of tattooing my face fair enough he's done lots of my face tattoo work so um yeah terry one of the younger artists at the shop with super clean lines did these for me and uh, i helped him come up with the design before we did it so that it would be something that i would be happy with obviously uh, we're gonna build it up i've got a little bit of negative space believe it or not in here um we just didn't want to tattoo that um, I have a haircut actually coming up, so uh, I'm just going to have it shaved right off and then we can build it up and around my ear and uh, connect it to the back here so that it's not just kind of attached to nothing. Because currently, from the side, I mean, from the side it looks cool, I think, but it doesn't make much sense unless you um, tether it to something else. It's not really going to flow right. So especially I feel that way on this side. But I do think it has a nice frame to the face and I think it has a nice frame to the ears as well. And it's a lot more cohesive than what I had there before. This was something I was thinking about doing for pretty well as, as soon as I extended my face tattoo. I was always kind of like, um, the last time I did it in 2019, I was always kind of like, I wish I could have uh, covered up the rose and dagger. Wish there was a way I could do that. It would make sense. And at the time I couldn't envision it. And so it's probably better that I waited. So even though I got this done by um, a different artist, it's the same kind of design that I would have had done by anyone else that did it. So um, I was gonna get this done when I was in Kelowna uh, with Lee, my the artist that did my blackout, my back piece and uh, my spawn sleeve from my first suit. But we ended up running out of time. So even though we had the idea, it just never ended up materializing. So anyway, I persevered and I have it done and I am positive that I'm going to get some mixed reactions. I'm already um, bracing for that. 
I'll probably put this up here before my Instagram. And it's already on my TikTok, but my TikTok is kind of in the dumps right now, so I didn't really get too, too much from that anyway. But I always, like, I'm always happy with these things, but because I've been around so long, like, whenever you change something, especially as um, important as your face, uh, you're always gonna get backlash. That, that will literally always happen. And even me, when I, when I get a new face tattoo, it takes me a minute to adjust to it, even though I like it. Like, I'll find myself, like, when I catch myself in the mirror, I look at it and I'm like, whoa, is that me? Like, is that my new thing? Um, it always takes me a minute to acclimatize to and almost learn, like, you're not changing the way you dress, but like how your face looks with every outfit now. Like, it's, it's a different thing. You change your face and you don't realize until you do that, that um, everything you wear, you've been wearing with the same kind of look, right? So now you have a new look and I've had that same experience happen every time I've tattooed my face. So for reference, it's been almost 11 years since I first tattooed my face. So I first got stars on my face. They've been covered with roses. Um, I have that story on my channel for anyone who's interested in hearing it. But yeah, that was almost 11 years ago. So um, for anyone that's nervous for me tattooing my face or anything like that. Uh, yeah, that's a bridge I crossed a million years ago. I, I've been uh, I've been over that for a long time. And uh, I have two jobs currently. So I always jokingly call them job stoppers. And when I say that jokingly, I mean it. Um, they've never stopped me from doing anything. That being said, as I, as I uh, as I said earlier, I expect to hear some negativity about this. I expect some people to uh, prefer the way they were before, um, to not care for how they look now, all that kind of stuff. That happens with anything you change. That would happen with, like I talked about my chest, um, tattooing over my chest piece here. And uh, I got a similar reaction there. So anything that you're changing, um, people, even though I'm known for changing things, People get attached to um, the way things look um, and, and their their attachment to it becomes something that um, you can't really do anything about. Like, for example, anytime I've changed the eye tattoo, uh, it's been someone has had something nasty to say, oh, it looked better this way or that. Or when I did the blackout journey, it was like, every time I cover something up, it was, oh, you really should have kept that one. Or, you know, people always have their opinions. Um, what you have to be comfortable in when you when you tattoo your face is that you like it, that uh, you think it's a good idea. And then once you own it and you've worn it long enough, people will stop noticing it all the time. People will stop caring. Like uh, I know for a fact that when I go into um, my other job, because I, I still work as a cook uh, day a week, no one's even going to notice. If they do notice, they'll probably compliment it. But um, for the most part, I pushed that long enough and hard enough that if anyone does notice, they don't really have anything too much to say because it's just, oh, it's just one more thing that Jared did, you know? <laughs> it's kind of like I've beaten them into submission a little bit. <clears throat> one thing that I will say is um, with body mods, job stoppers included, um, I've always been a big believer that I'd rather beg forgiveness than ask permission. So, for example, um, like rather than tell my mom I was gonna get my face tattooed, because when I first got my face tattooed, my mom was, that was the only one that she was really unhappy with. That was the only thing I've ever done that my mother was unhappy with, just the first time. And she made it very, very apparent that she was very unhappy with me. Um, but that being said, I never told her I was gonna get it done first. And I'm glad I didn't because she would have tried to talk me out of it. Now, once she seen that I had it done, she was kind of, um, well, there's there's no way around it then. It's part of me now. You're going to have to get used to it. It's not like she's going to uh, never see me again over something like that. So rather than um, tell her beforehand and have her try and talk me out of it and guilt me and all these things, I found it better to just do what I was going to do and deal with the consequence. And then at the end of the day, um, it's however many years later, and guess what? She doesn't care. Um, 
this woman took me to get my tongue split last year. You know, I have a pretty cool mom, don't get me wrong. She, she didn't love that either. But like, the more you push those comfort zones with people, the easier it becomes for people to accept them too. So you're kind of doing yourself a favor by approaching life that way, I feel like. And I feel like um, a lot of people make up a lot of fear around what people are gonna say or what people are gonna do about the things that they change about themselves or uh, want to do for themselves. But um, it's been my experience that uh, those sorts of hostilities or extreme emotions that come as a consequence of doing these sorts of things, they don't last very long. But the uh, tattoo or the piercing or whatever, the, the split tongue, that stuff you get to keep forever. And I'd rather have that than a whole bunch of regrets of the things that I wish I did if I wasn't so worried about upsetting people. Anyway, uh, that's my rant for the day. I wasn't exactly sure what, which way I was gonna go with this, so um, I thought this was gonna be like a two minute video just showing off the tattoos, but turned out I had a little more to say on the topic than I thought. So I will say this will probably be, <laughs> now air quotes, this will probably be the last time I tattoo my face, other than touch-ups and little additions. We're gonna add little thorns in here like we did on the, these pieces. So like these little pokey bits, we're gonna add some of those in here too. We're gonna freshen up all the black and uh, we gotta redo the chin. Um, that'll be the fifth time I've tattooed my chin. It's still not as solid as I want it. The chin bleeds a lot, so does the forehead. Anyway, we're gonna darken up the black and we're gonna build it up around my ear. Um, and then that's probably gonna be it because now I'm at the point where it's even making me a little anxious, like, oh wow, that's really on my face now. Um, where before it was always, I could have gone a little farther, could have gone a little farther. Now it's like, okay, that's far enough. And I don't think I can face my wife if I go any farther either, because <laughs> she didn't hate what I did, but she feels like eventually there's gonna be no more Remy face left for her. And she really likes my face and doesn't want it to be fully covered. And she knows that I find um, heavy body mods and some heavy body mod people very, very interesting. And so I think she's always worried that I'm never going to be able to stop myself. So I got to draw a real line in the sand this time and say, that's going to be enough. It's been three years since the last time I tattooed my face. Um, I wanted something a little more aggressive, a little more there. Um, and a little more cohesive, and that's exactly what I got. So I'll give a show off close. And the other side, and yeah. So anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this one, I'll talk to you again soon and have a great day.